Hello I'm Dave, welcome to my Technical Notes channel. In this video I'll demonstrate how to push data uploads to a web page. Normally a client would request or pull data. So perhaps you have a sensor that you'd like to send regular updates of its readings to a web page without having to keep refreshing the page. First let's see an example of a conventional web server. Note in this example, once the client PC has requested a web page and sensor readings, then the page and values will never be updated again. So if I click refresh there, the values get updated. And that's the only way they'll get refreshed. Now let's see an example of the same web server, but with the addition of the Ajax script designed to update just the values. And there you see it's being refreshed once a second. The mouse pointer doesn't need to be refreshing the screen or anything like that. So it's a constantly refreshing, but not the whole way, a whole page. Let's recap the process. So using a conventional web server requires the whole web page to be refreshed. On the left is the image that denotes that. So all of the HTML and all of the data needs to be sent to the client. And without a refresh, the sensor readings will never be updated. In the AJAX version, AJAX means asynchronous, which means a process that can be called at any time and is not linked to any other processes, a time or a process or activity. So you can call an AJAX function at any time you like. And that using AJAX results in only the actual data values being sent to the client for refresh. So on the right hand side, the little refresh symbols denote that only those underlying values are being refreshed. Here I'm showing how the web page has been constructed using a cascading style sheet and a style section together with HTML. So using cascading style sheets makes it very easy to define a style for all parts of the HTML document, not just a small section. Uh, pay particular notice to the ID tags that have been defined to display the sensor readings. These are used by the AJAX function to position the data in the HTML document for display later on. I've used meaningful tag names so you can follow the process flow. So they're called temp, temperature value, humidity value and pressure value. So what will happen is that Ajax routine will go down and find those ID values currently with zero after them, but it'll then find that ID and then add the real sensor data. When you connect to the web server, in this instance, it was at address 192.168.0175 using a forward slash, so there are no parameters. The first thing it does is call the function handle root. Handle root then calls the function called get sensor data, and that's what we're looking at here. And the first thing you see is a reference to creating an object that will react, interact with the server. And that's new XML, HTTP, HTTP request. This enables the data to be sent to the client or sent and receive. Actually, you can do it both ways. And it does that without, an, without having to do a page refresh and uh, enables just the parts of the page to be refreshed without disrupting what the user is doing. So this is the first time we're seeing ID being linked to the HTML and the ID in the HTML was called, but one of the first ones was called temp value. Next, the XML sends a get request to the web server the current ESP that's running the web server. So it sends it to itself and it's asking for a temperature read that in turn calls a function called handle temp. That's now we're at stage three and handle temp will actually refresh the temperature. There is the example there below handle temp. It'll read the temperature 
and send it back to the server. And that's the first time then it will go down the HTML on the client's web page looking for the ID called temp value and then it will update the value at that place. And then it will repeat that for any other sense of values in the examples I've given, humidity and pressure. Standard web pages can be easily augmented with Ajax scripts, but no scripts do not work at all well uh, with Internet Explorer. But if you use Edge, Firefox or Google's variants, they work very well. Your, your web page must contain an ID marker so the, the script can find the correct location to update the data. And those Ajax scripts enables only parts of the web page to be updated. There's no screen refresh needed and it makes for a much faster and more efficient use of the network. And of course it reduces data flows. There's lots of examples in my GitHub for your use and enjoyment. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 